I'm Alex and this is Justin and we've taken time out of our working lives in Sydney to travel to some of Australia's most remote and beautiful places in our modified four-wheel drive and we're filming our adventure along the way. We are back on the road. Yeah, we're back vlogging and traveling. Briefly, anyway. So if you watched our last little kind of update video, we spent the last six to eight weeks in Brisbane. Plans to go to Outback, New South Wales, failed with COVID, COVID, COVID. Yeah. So our last little hurrah before back to reality of jobs and stuff. Where is it right then? Yeah, so we've got a few people coming on, a couple of mates, our mate that you would have probably seen if you watched the videos from Cape York or The Simpson, John, has come, and then we've met up with some of the mates that I had back in Sydney that are actually now live in Queensland, so hopefully we'll have six days of possible sun and hopefully. swimming and all things nice. Yeah, so our last little holiday, just need the sun to come out and it will be sweet! As, Sweet as, bro! Oh, that was quite deep. I'll just be that one. It's crap. Yes. So I was under the impression that I'd moved to the Sunshine State. It is the bloody Sunshine State. Whenever we come to Fraser Island, this is, this is our second time, it's great. Yeah. Yeah, it's not ideal, but I mean, at least it's washing the salt off. Yeah, fair, fair, I'll take that. I'm hoping it's just going to be a bit of rain tonight and then we'll get some beautiful sunshine. Ooh. So, we made it. We made it. Justin Ripley. only stalled the car like five times. Um, but So we've got six nights on Fraser. We're currently at Cornwall's camping zone, zone two. So our plan is to spend a night here, a night in zone eight or nine. Yeah. A night at the tip. Night at the tip. Sandy Cape. And three nights on the west coast. So we are excited. Yeah, we'll get lit. And Chris has already caught two fish, so I'm pretty excited for that as well. We might get a ceviche. We might. Very excited. But yeah, nice little campsite. The rain stopped. Queensland. Oh yeah, it's now back to being the Sunshine State. Hopefully. Hopefully that will last. I mean, we've also been watching whales swim by, so. Can't really complain about much right now. Day two in Fraser. Slightly rushed up, we kind of all forgot or we forgot that we are um, we're camping right tired. up north and we've got to beat the tides. Um, so I'm having some brekkie in the car. Lovely camp spot, but I'll tell you what, the alpha is flappy. Can confirm. She's a real flappy girl. She's a flappy girl, so I didn't get much sleep. But the plan for today is to head up towards um, Eli Creek to, to the wrecks and then we're camping in camping zone eight, I believe. Yeah, so it should be a good day. Alright, go see the Mahino, go see all the iconic East Coast things on Fraser. Oh, I'm gonna get my car wet. And this morning we're just enjoying a low tide on a beautiful oh, sunny day. It's such a difference. <laughs> this is like cold, mate. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> I mean, I'm glad I'm out of 
What are you complaining about, mate? The cold. <laughs> can John get in nice and no, elegantly? Can't. Forget about it. Are we going to get a... Oh! <laughs> All right, on this cold. Cheers, cold. Fair enough. As a what? Eel. Eel? Okay, I'm saying aloe water. <laughs> Oh no. Impact. Ow. Yeah. Lap one completed. Lap two to be finished. Yep. I might put some more air in mine so I don't drag my bum on the ground. It's a bit it's shallow. Too, issue. too many beers. Too many beers. Beers, beers, beers. Beers, 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 beers. Sun yeah. is anal. It's a beautiful day. There's like twice as big, but there's a lot of sections through your butt wraps. Yeah. <laughs> I'm out of rush this morning. It's like a bit brucky. I'm just going to make myself some scrambled eggs, but Justin is just going to nick the pan for his toasty. We've got more important things to think about than your eggs. Like my toast. nothing about it it's a ship it could have been a hospital i think somebody bought it trying to float it to scrap it never did that um, yep metal beautiful day day we'll uh, hopefully get the drone up once we get out of the light zone we'll see by the plane but yeah it should be good we'll cruise on up the beach and we'll uh, have fun So we've climbed up the Indian Heads headland? A headland, it's a big rocky one. Pretty sure it's Indian Heads. Stunning. There's some whales out jumping, but they're a bit far out with the drone. We saw a shark chasing some fish of some sort. Yep. Now we're going to go walk down, maybe go to Champagne Pools. Um, I need to put some more sun cream on, because I'm burning. Yep. And John hasn't got stuck yet. <laughs> Disappointing though, that he hasn't. There's still time. How is your first experience of proper beach driving? Awesome, good fun. A little bit uh, shaky. Shaky, shaky, shaky. <laughs> In the soft stuff, but it's all right. yeah, good fun. The Simpson Desert is definitely preparation for Fraser, which is oh, yeah. much easier. <laughs> definitely.
How was lunch? Good. Where are we? On a beach. Oh. What did you see? So some dolphins swimming in the waves, or a whale watching Chris fall off the surfboard. <laughs> Ate some falafel. It's good. champagne pools <laughs> but there was a thousand cars there so I'm glad we had lunch just by Indian heads saw all the dolphins all the whales yep. now we're off to camp in camping zone 8 where the boys might stop off at Wadi Point for a shower and um, before we do that something on the car is seriously squeaky yeah. Given the mechanic is in the car, I can't really say too much. It's annoying when the mechanic's replaced all the suspension recently. It's all squeaky. Except for the shocks. So maybe we need new shocks, who knows. Maybe we've just got a dodgy ass mechanic. No, our mechanic's really good. Oh, ah, okay. He's really good looking too. Oh, is he? Yeah. I didn't know that. All Works soft. for minimum wage, but... Ooh. End of day two. Yep. Well, not the end. I mean, we've got a couple of hours, we've got dinner to cook. we got to get to camp, but yeah. Five o'clock on day two. Well spoken. The next morning, we left camp nice and early to make full use of the low tides and get up through the notoriously soft and boggy Nagala rocks before the inevitable mid-morning queue. The mighty Prado, with its massive power and a bit of momentum, cruised on up and John even made it up to. The camera crew always ends up walking, funnily enough. And now it is tipping it down. But at least they made it up south of the Gala Rocks by the looks of it. Just gotta find Chris and Bob. Oh, so we made it through Nagala. Mighty Prada on its tractor tyres pulled through cruisy. John's Ranger struggled through slowly. <coughs> pulled it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're just waiting for the chaos that is Nagala. It's like a more disorganised version of Nolan's. It's ridiculous. And unfortunately, Chris and yeah. Bob and Alice are a few cars back in the queue. So yeah, so we'll see how we go. We'll watch a few more cars get stuck. Hopefully, we'll get them through. Stop raining at least. Right. We'll cruise on up. Did I not bother walking up there? Nah. 1200 late. So two hours later, we've all successfully made it across the goal. The goal of rocks. The yeah. rocks. And so we're heading to camp, which is at Sandy Cape tonight, I think. Yeah. So, so. the goal of rocks. No matter what car, rocks, no matter what car you're in, about 15 pound under okay. momentum, and you'll be fine. Yeah. A lot of people were not fine, but yeah. everyone else was fine. Yeah. Yeah, it just takes a long through. time to get those that aren't fine out the bloody way. Yeah, but uh, good entertainment. Yeah, kind of like if you want a good time, I reckon in peak tourist season, take a deck chair in an esky, you'd have a good day. Yeah. 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 We're going to explore the north side of the island. Yeah, there's quite a few spots up here. It's a really nice one. Boop. And this is why we wanted to do it on low tide. <laughs> There's not much beach here, people. Where'd you go? I 
just went up into the bush, I can see you. Cool, that was sketchy. Super sketchy. Turn left now. So we found a pretty epic camp at Sandy Cape. Um, it's the last one you can get to before the camping zone ends. And now we're braving it down to the lighthouse. We're hoping the tide leaves some space on this beach when it comes up. I don't get why I can't drive up this. Enjoying this hill? <laughs> Lovely. I can't just tell why I'm out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> I guess lighthouses have to be up high, don't they? Otherwise, they're pretty useless. So we're just at a beautiful campsite, watching the sunset over the water, and Chris has caught a shark. Shark or a big ray. Hopefully we'll get this one in. Maybe. Thanks for watching. Join us next time as we continue to explore the amazing Fraser Island and even go for a bit of a night four-wheel drive adventure.